We just talked about two different ways that people use digital identities, and it's important at this point to clarify them very specifically. So one was a claim, which is about a claim is an assertion by one entity, an organization, or a person, about another one. It has two pieces, a claimer and a claimant, or a, or the, or a subject, sorry. The subject of the claims about. You can make claims about yourself. Um, I could claim that I have live in the East Bay, or I could claim that I'm a woman, and other people might point and validate those claims. But we can make self-assertions, and we can also have um, people or institutions make claims about us. Um, so an example on a basic level is most people in the Western world have a birth certificate, and the birth certificate makes a claim about when the person's birthday was, when they emerged from their mother's womb. So this is an example of an institution namely a county um, or a provincial government issuing a claim and you carry on this piece of paper your whole life and it makes you know people believe it because it comes from them um, you know uh, this this the state um, issues driver's license so um, you go through a process and it says yes you have a driver's license so it bestows the privilege of driving upon you but it also gives you this claim that you have and uh, a tool to sort of prove claims to other people with that. A different form of, identify, of, of identity is an identifier, and that's a specific pointer. So in both the instances that I articulated, a birth certificate and a driver's license, they have numbers on them that, that identify that particular document. Um, another example would be a social security number. It identifies you, gives you a number in that whole giant number space of social security numbers. Another example is a phone number. This gives you a number in the context of the global phone system, and it's a, a network of numbers um, administrated internationally by an institution called the International Telecommunications Union. So, and it has an endpoint. It does something at the end of it. It, it makes phone calls, it does SMSs, um, it provides you services. Another kind of identifier is a URL, which is an endpoint at the end of the internet network that um, resolves usually to a web page, but it could also do other things. Um, so, So one of the things that's come out recently is a way for endpoints to have services attached to them so that you could understand if um, there was an email address there or somebody's calendar service or a photo service. So you can articulate using a standard called XRD something that an endpoint does. Another simple form of identifier is an email address. and. That does one thing too. It accepts emails. So you can see the difference between claims and identifier. Claims having this two part structure and identifiers just being pointers um, in a namespace to specific people or entities.